And then we have to design the social welfare system to cover independent workers and the gig economy. I think eventually we have no choice because it is really the question of the least, the least problems. Yeah? I think if we have, let's say we have 50% unemployment for kids, uh, we have lots of drugs and other problems, we have uh, terrorism because of inequality, you know, then we can say it's a lot cheaper to pay people to do whatever they want to do, hopefully good things, uh, than to not pay them. Yeah? And also, of course, things are going to be in 20 years so cheap to pay, like healthcare, media, telecom, transportation. The state can say, well, you know, the medical services are going to be so cheap in 20 years because technology will make it much easier, like home diagnostics. Yeah? So the government can say, you know what, food, water, electricity, transportation, paid. Do something. Yeah? I think the problem is that the, the basic income is fundamentally anti-capitalist in, in, uh, in the sense of that, that the consumption is... So this would, this would provide for a sort of a post-capitalism, you know, a, a new form of capitalism.